Hey, Dr. Clint G. Rogers here. I just wanted you to know how to make the moon soup in this book if you're traveling. So here I am in an Airbnb. There's no kitchen, but I brought my Instapot. I'm gonna show you how to do it in one minute. It's so fast. Okay, so I take all the ingredients from the recipe on page 173 and 174, all these ingredients, I just pre-put them in a pack like this. I make it so easy. And some people like to saute it beforehand, but I just put it all straight in there. So I just dump all those ingredients right into the Instapot like this. So I got that all in there. Then the moon beans, I soak overnight. They get bigger, they get fatter when you soak them overnight. I strain it and I wash them. And then I make sure those are in there. Now, if you want vegetables, I just get this. It's already pre-sliced uh, um, carrots, onions, and um, celery from Trader Joe's. And I just put that in there. Now, I also like to put in an extra uh, tablespoon of ghee, and then you can, afterwards, you can salt and pepper it to your own taste. Now, I'm just going to add, you know, some water, basically. I just pour in the water, and depending on how much thick you like it or how much soupy you like it, you can add it to the amount that you like. So for me, I just put in three water bottles now. So easy. I like it a little soupy, but you may like it different. Then you just take the lid, you put it on in place, then I just say pressure cook, and then I press start, and then I just wait. Now, each Instapot is different, but you see mine has the preheating, and then it does cooking, and you'll see steam come out of here, and at the very end, it just says keeping warm, but when you want to finally take the lid off, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, good. It went through the cycle. It just beeped. All the steam came off. So now I can click this to vent. It shoots up all that air like that. There we go. And once the steam goes down, pretty soon it'll be safe to open the lid. And you'll know when it's safe to open the lid. Again, each Instapot's different. But see how that click happened? And then it's done. Now I can open this up. And I just see this beautiful, delicious soup inside of here. <laughs> um, I just have a, I carry with me a scooper and personally for me I just like to add a little bit more ghee you can also add salt and pepper to taste and then you taste it all right here it is it smells good moment of truth yum delicious <laughs> and then whatever's left it keeps it warm if you want to have it throughout the day or you can put it in a Tupperware and just put it in a fridge if you're staying in a hotel or an Airbnb that has one. Last thing I wanna say is if it doesn't taste amazing or delicious, keep working on it until it does, because this should be so delicious for you. I love you and I'm with you.